back. I did not put this punch on my little short clip on the jab because I don't really consider this a jab. It's more the jolt, but it's a lead hand punch. And a while back on my other series, I covered a bit on the jolt on this punch, but I thought it was worth revisiting it a bit here because it ties in with some of the mechanics we've been talking about. But this is what Jack Dempsey called the jolt. This is how you make that lead straight punch a power punch instead of a jab, okay? And again, if you refer back to my video on the five energies, the reason this works is because it's taken that lead punch and it's using sink and translate forward. It's this, this forward motion that adds power to this punch. And if you've read Jack Dempsey's book, Championship Boxing, he describes it and it puts an, even puts an illustration in there. It's like kids on a, on a sled on the side of a hill. They're inner tubing or they're tobogganing, they're sledding. They come down that hill, boom, and right when they get to the bottom, boom, it shoots them out. They're accelerating down the hill, but right when they hit the bottom, they shoot straight forward even faster than they were going down the hill, right? It's that angular momentum, boom, it shoots it forward. It's the same thing here with this, what Dempsey called a drop step or a falling step. It's that same idea, your weight is dropping down and then it shoots forward, okay? And he called it a drop step or a falling step because it's like you're dropping your weight or like you're about to fall and you catch yourself, right? Catch yourself and shoot forward with the power, okay? So the falling step to produce the lead hand jolt. So it looks like a jab, I'm standing here and I'll exaggerate the step so you can see it. But the idea is I'm here, if I step forward, I'd be landing on my heel, my weight is dropping and I'm rolling forward on the ball of my foot as my rear heel comes up, right? Bam, you can see that just like Dempsey said. It's like I'm on the side of the, the hill on my sled. I'm coming down the hill. I hit the bottom, boom, and it shoots out with power. That's the idea. Bam, bam, bam. It's this motion like that, dropping forward. So I'm, I'm literally going, rolling from heel to toe. Heel to toe, coming up on my rear toe. Okay. So if I'm back here, I'm stepping, bam. See how I can punch through it that way because I've got that forward translation. I'll try not to go through as much. Now, it doesn't have to be that exaggerated. I can shorten it. I can do a falling step without stepping, right? Because if I'm here, Remember, it's just a matter of sinking my weight and translating forward. So without moving my foot off the ground, I can put my weight mostly on my heel. I can translate forward towards the ball of my foot, lift, lift my rear heel just a little bit, and I get that same effect without ever lifting my lead foot off the ground, right? I still get that same jolt. So I can go from this. Now I put that angular momentum into it, and I can still get a following step. The jolt, right? Jab, 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 jolt. Right? I drop my weight, translating forward, punching out. So I make it a big step. Bam. Bam. Well, hello. But if I shorten it up, it doesn't have to be a big step. I don't have to step at all. Drop my weight, roll forward. Okay? And that's the falling step or drop step to the, the jolt.